Welcome back everyone to Amped Tutorials. Today I'm going to be taking you through part five of the Annotate Tutorials. Originally I said the Annotate Tutorial series was going to be seven parts, but we've changed it to five parts and this is going to be the final part. In this video I'm going to show you a combination of everything that we've learned whilst working on a real case example. So the video we're going to be looking at today is a video that I've taken from a police department that they released this video for the purpose of identifying this person. So we're going to be taking a look at how we could improve this slightly just by using some basic annotations. And I think this is a really good example of where less is not more in the video forensics world. Being able to enhance your video and annotate it correctly and present it in a way that's going to benefit both the police department and the public that you're asking to identify someone, I think is extremely important. So we're going to be taking a look at that today and seeing how we can improve this uh, for release to the media. So if we just quickly review the video that we've got at the moment, um, you can see that they've used this fade in effect that I'm going to get rid of. We've got the video of the actual suspect and then more than half of the video is just looking at fire which um, I really don't think is quite useful in identifying the suspect so I'm going to start off just by selecting a range of frames before I do my annotation um, because we want to keep this concise the the purpose of the video is to identify the suspect so Let's keep that purpose in mind. So I'm going to do my range selection. And we'll keep all the frames of him walking across. You can see that there's the video is not the best quality. But we'll do what we can with it. So now I've got my uh, range of frames that I want to use. The next step is to start annotating this. So I'm going to go to our presentation filters and we'll go to our annotate filter. And the first basic one I'm going to uh, put on here is just some text. And this is just going to make sure that everyone can see throughout the video who they need to call if they recognize this individual. So I'll just start off by putting information wanted, call, and this is a made up number, so don't go calling it. Hopefully it's not real. And I'm going to change the background color to white. I'll just give it a black border in this case. And then let's see, should we make it bold? Yeah. I'll just place this on my video and then remember when we annotate something like text to start off with it's just going to appear on a single frame so don't forget we learn the uh, right click menus that can help us annotate quickly so I'm going to set this for all the frames and we can just double check now that throughout our video we've got this information wanted going on The next thing I'd like to do then is magnify our individual. But before I'm going to do that, as I said, it's really nice that you can access uh, both enhancement and presentation stuff within the one package. Here we can see this is quite a low contrast uh, video caused by the infrared camera. So I'm just going to slightly increase the contrast here just moving a little bit, bit away from annotations because it is something that's going to quickly improve the overall presentation of this video so I'm just going to quickly add this and I'll just place that before the annotate okay now I'm going to do my magnify and I just want to magnify the individual 
throughout this video. So I'm going to select my magnify annotate and we're going to just create a area that we can annotate him. Let's increase the zoom actually. So remember once we've created where we want our annotation to be on the screen, we then need to move this blue dot over to what we want to annotate. But here we're going to try to get uh, his face magnified just slightly. I'll give it just a shape border again. So I'm going to go black border and just shape only. And we'll just leave that there. So I've got this on the first frame now. And remember, we can track people with these annotations. With all the annotations we can track, either using the software assisted tracking or keyframing. In this way, I'm going to use the software assisted tracking because for the this first range of tracking, I'm not going to do it throughout the full video because you'll see that they put a cut in the video which will stop me from doing that so let's start off by tracking him here i'm just going to run this so i'm just holding down the track button now and you can see five is just maintaining this track on this individual at the moment he's not really moving so it's fine and once he begins to move it will continue to track him Now, one of the reasons that in this video that I noticed is important to have something like a magnifier in the bottom right is because in some frames, he looks like he doesn't have a beard and in some frames he does. And using this magnify option in the bottom right, it makes it much easier for everyone to see that no, he, he does have um, quite a beard. But the, the compression in the video sometimes makes it difficult to see that. So you can see he's beginning to move now. So we're keeping that tracking on him while he's moving. Unfortunately, this video does suffer from quite a lot of compression. And you'll see that I've got another chain under this annotate chain where I've done an enhancement. And this will just help get rid of some of that compression by integrating some of the frames together. And then what I'm going to do is bring that image back into this annotate. Okay, so you can see there it cut. I continued for a little bit too long. So remember what we can do is with this selected, we can go back to where it comes off. So let's say here. And I can just right click and do set until this frame. And then I'm going to deselect my magnify and I'll just check the next part of it. So you can see it gets cut. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine a frame. Combine a new filter. So I'm just looking for I'm just looking for a half decent um, side profile frame here. And I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna use a combination of freeze frame and annotate. So I'm going to go to presentation freeze frame. And all I'm going to do is just hold this frame for 100 frames. So you can see now that that frame is going to be held. And then the video will finish. And what I can do is in this held range, I'm going to use my annotate to bring in my enhanced image. So here you can see my enhancement that I my enhancement workflow. And I'm going to use this opportunity now to bring that image in. 
which I took from the beginning of the video. I can add a quick border to this, just like before. And then I'm going to set this from this frame until the last frame of the freeze. Now, if we take a look at our video, we review it. We have our magnified in the bottom right. We've got the information about who to call. And then as the video goes on, we're keeping the attention always on him, not what he's doing. Then we see that we get to see him moving a little bit, walking around. And then as we carry on, we will get to our new annotation part where we've frozen the frame and we've brought in the enhanced image. Okay guys, so there you can see where we've used annotate. We've only done a couple of uh, basic annotations for this. There's no real information that needs to be redacted. Um, or, you know, it's only one person, so we didn't need to spotlight. So I kept it quite simple. But then I showed you how you can combine the annotate filter with both our enhancement filters and our other presentation filters like freeze frame. So I hope you found this video useful and I hope you enjoyed our first tutorial series. There's going to be many more tutorial series coming out, so hopefully you're looking forward to them. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.